We're here with Lena. Is it Pendekar? Pendekar. Yes, also she's the director of 20 Weeks, a great film playing here at the San Diego Film Festival, Lena. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Awesome. So, the movie is about a couple, and they experience that they have a child with a, a malformality in his development. Is that correct? Yes. So 20 Weeks in Utero, they learn that the baby has a serious problem. Right. And then they have to make a decision whether to abort the pregnancy or to continue with it. Yes. Right? Now, from your notes that I got, because you sent some great notes on it, oh, that is illegal in most of the states, is that correct? Well, um, abortion after 24 weeks is illegal in most states. So you said 46, right? I think, oh, maybe, yeah, I don't yeah. remember now. From I, I'm just trying to recall from that, yeah. uh, the notes that I was sent. It, but uh, overall, I did enjoy how delicately it handled that particular uh, aspect of it, because that's a really, really difficult thing, especially for two parents. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, it's a difficult subject matter, and it can very easily be politicized, but I wanted it to really be very much I think that that was really, really well done. I think the, the performances drove that. Oh, I wanted you. to talk about that. How was it working with those two in particular, you truly? They were great. Yeah, it was great. Um, I was able to do a lot of work with Amir before the film shoot, so we did about 25 hours of Skype calls and discussed every line, and every character motivation and the arc of the story. So I got to know Amir really well by the time he got to the shoot. Anna Margaret, we did some conversations and we talked a bit, but she's a much more instinctual actor. Like she has her process and she's kind of in it. Um, the amazing thing is both of them got together and they really flushed, flushed it out and felt created a very authentic couple for the screen. She That's really great. carried that. Anna Margaret really carried that. And you could feel her, her pathos throughout the whole thing of her internally struggling with that really difficult decision. Absolutely. Um, how was it making this film as opposed to your other feature, Raspberry Magic? What was it different? Um, I mean, I've definitely grown a lot as a filmmaker since then, and I really understand my voice and the visual palette that I'm using to tell that story. I mean, I think both of my films have this like subtext of women and young women and the difficulties that they're facing. and. Um, Raspberry Magic had a, a very pretty kind of look and palette to it. Um, this one had a much more gritty kind of real feel to it, which was really very much what I was going for. I could totally agree with that. I think the Raspberry Magic did have a whimsy to the way you shot it. And this one, it's very like blues and grays, and the whole city of San Diego looks beautiful in it. Because you shot LA. it here, right? Los LA? LA. Even yeah. better, because that's where it's from. Okay. Not originally, but yeah. yeah. Okay. LA is beautiful, and okay. I really thought that it had this more grounded, uh, look to it as opposed to Raspberry Magic, which has a very whimsical tone. It does. Still, you also took a different perspective in that that movie is about a, a young woman, you know, very young woman, teenager, trying to do something that she thinks will get her father back. In this one, we've got a couple dealing with something that no couple should have to deal with. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a heavy topic, definitely, in this movie. I thought that you also handled the funny parts of it, because there are certain parts that are oh, quite funny. Oh, yeah, There's yeah, some yeah, stuff yeah. in there that's really funny. Now, one of the things I also noticed is you do a lot of short films. Yeah, I've, I've shot a lot of short films with the producer Jane. Right. Now, do you prefer the short, or do you like? Would, would you like to do more features? I absolutely would like to do more features. I think um, making a feature is a huge commitment. You, yeah. you know, you work on that thing for a few years. It's a long process, and you really have to find a team that is going to go on board with you. And I'm really lucky. I work with a terrific group of people: the producer Jane, the DP Daoud. Um, awesome production designer and costume. So I think having done all these, I went through a period where I was just making shorts because I wanted to just make something that I could make. Because you write a feature script and then you send it out to all these people to finance it and look for money and it can just take forever. It can be very disheartening. Um, but I love production. I love to shoot things. So I'm always, always trying to keep it going so I'm not just stopped. But right, it kind of keeps you fresh, right? Yeah, it keeps you fresh. And so I, I would like to do both, but I would like to make I'm developing some other features, and I would like to cool. make that and television. Well, we hope whatever you do next, you'll consider us to like you know take a look at it and you know well, you. Uh, talk to you more about whatever you've got coming up. Because again, really enjoyed this one. It's called Twenty Weeks, guys. It's here playing here at the San Diego Film Festival. Now, from what I'm familiar with, it did win some awards at the yeah. Los Angeles Film Festival. It didn't win their award, but it was in the festival. It screened, right? Yeah, premiered it should, at the Los Angeles. I, it was. It's, it's really good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Now. If people want to watch this film, could you tell them where they can find it? Yeah, I mean, it's not been released yet, so we're touring the festival circuit for the, the fall. So we'll be playing here in San Diego, then it's going to a bunch of cities like Indianapolis and Wichita and Naples and Minneapolis and Rochester. And then it will be released sometime in the 
like February, March time frame. So it should be on VOD and TV. Everyone can watch it then, but it hasn't been good. Awesome. So if all you scopes not to everywhere want to check this out, it's going to be playing at a festival or theater near you, and we would recommend that you highly do that. Once again, I want to thank Lena here for joining me, and uh, you know, just a, a closing, you know, bit of information for the people if they, you know, don't know why should they go see your movie. I think they should go see 20 Weeks because you never know someone until you go through something difficult or something unexpected and that's really what the film is about. That this couple thinks they have the perfect relationship that they're in love and then they're faced with something that they never thought. Yeah, I hope you'll watch it. Thank you, Lena, for joining us once again. It's William from Film Stop and we'll see you guys again next time. Yeah, thank you. 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 Yeah, thank you.